Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've got another card invention shape for you, if that's such a thing. It is now. Um, this one is going to be like two diamonds. It's a tent folding card, but you've got two diamonds within there, um, which are squares turned on their side, so it makes it easy for cutting out, etc. Um, you can lay things across the front sections and the back sections if you want. If you've got lacy dies, I've obviously put a peacock there, which is a die cut because I've got a peacock paper um and this one is the art deco one that i've done this is what i had in mind because if you've been following me i've had like i think i've done three art deco designs now and i can link them in the description for you the latest one i did was a fan in a circle so it was one like this so it was a paper folded fan and then just a circle for the base card now with the fan on this one as well you can see that i've used the fan and i've put it between so i've used it as a backdrop to this particular diamond shape here underneath so that was my idea for the art deco side of it and you know it's obviously columns and symmet symmetry etc with art deco and i just thought it looked really really nice so you can this one has only got like gems along the diamond edge um could speak them and this one i've decorated with panels now i'm going to show you the know-how on how to cut make and do fold this card which is really easy and make all the panels and it's not that many to be honest so i'll get started and show you how to do that and like i say i'll link everything art deco and that fan shape which is this and by the way just so you know it comes out like this size and all i did was put it behind the diamond shape like where i wanted it to sit and it did sit quite nicely on the pillars as well so that was good um just pop it behind there i put uh tape across the front here takes it onto the front glued this area and then literally you can see just chopped it off so you can cover that up if you want to but obviously this is just demo cards not ones i'm sending out if i'm going to send it out i'll probably put another like triangle on the back there so that's what we're going to be making and i will show you the basics on how to make it and i'd just like to say thank you to everyone again that has subscribed liked and shared my channel um i really do appreciate all of you and it's um growing very nicely thank you <laughs> so this piece of card is eight by 11 inches so that means you can use your us letter and your a4 which is really good so just cut down your card to eight by 11 and you're going to make two cuts with it portrait now if you haven't got a trimmer like this then you can obviously just use a pen and things like that and mark it so you're going to be making a mark one and a half inches in so i'm lining this up to be one and a half inches to the cut line this way and then you're going to start at a half inch up there at this angle i might try and stand up because yeah it doesn't quite get to half inches half inch down to eight so i'm going to make a cut there so you would mark with a pen half an inch down one and a half in and then two eight okay and then same on the other side so i'm going to shimmy it along to be one and a half there like that make sure it's all in line and then we're going to go backwards oh moved it yeah make sure it's in line put it back up again sarah no drama and then we're going to go from eight back up to half. So there is identical cuts each side of the card. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a scoring board, which I'm just going to pull in. Again, you can mark this if you haven't got a scoring board. And it's just going to be scored at five and a half inches. Now, what you can do is go all the way through the middle you don't need it to be all the way through the middle but this will help you with your mark for the point so i've gone all the way through the middle at five and a half with it landscape and then that's the only one you need to make the card and then we're going to be making cuts so the cuts we're going to make do vary okay so on this one it's at three inches so We'll keep the card where it is and where your three inch mark is now you can either measure up and measure in to find the point of three inches so what i mean by that is find the center of your card which is going to be four inches and then measure in from the edges like this find the point halfway is four inches which is awkward on this ruler ran the wrong way but it's about there you see so that's what you do you need to know where that is but what i'm going to do just make a mark along that channel as well and then it's easier for me 
put my marks in. So I'm going to remove this out of the way because we only needed to make one score line. I'm going to need my trimmer again, which I've just completely buried. So good on me for that. So we know where three inches is. And then we can get a ruler and uh, put that up that way, actually, because we cannot see. Actually, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is draw the line through there because I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So this is the score that we made. If I put a pen, obviously you won't, over my finger, obviously you won't do that. That was a score that I made at three inches, only through the middle, not on these edges. This is only helping me. You can measure up three inches and in four and put a dot. That's what we're, all we're trying to do here. I'm making it really complicated, <laughs> which is not like me. But hey ho, we all have our moments. So there's your four inch mark. So that was a little bit off. So there's your four inch mark. Now this is the point that we want to discover. So obviously you're going to measure four inches in, three inches up, make a mark. This one, we went all the way across here, five and a half all the way across, if you remember. So that score line goes all the way across there. And again, we just need to find the centre of the card, which is at four inches because it's eight. See, half of eight is four. Get me. Amazing mathematician. So there's your points. Now, like I say, you would not do this. Now, if you're just going to do these with um, cuts, this is your little half mark here, and this is your eight point. So you just get this point here and draw a line down to there. If you're going to use scissors, then you just draw it and cut it. Do it with a pencil so you can rub it out because you will see the line. Um, you can flip this card over at the end if it's double-sided paper that's the same colour each side. Just line those up. So I'm going from this little, let me mark it, that little half-inch cut line there up to the centre there. So that's our first diamond shape. And the other one goes backwards. So we turn the card around. So the other point that we made on halfway of the card goes to the 8 inch mark, which is here. So we're just going to draw a line from there to there. And then the same on the other side. There to there. Object of the game. Goodbye, all of this. Okay. So the easiest way to do it, I find, is if you've got a paper trimmer, line it up and make those cuts. If you're using scissors, just lift up that middle section like that through the middle and just cut it in half and then you can just get in there a lot easier and make these cuts so we're just following the lines that we've drawn all the way down to the point like that take that bit away and then on this one same thing same thing the other side there yeah. and then on this one get down to that point first doesn't matter if the travel's walking as long as the line's not there so you've just taken that weird shape out of the middle now if you flip it over you're going to lose the lines there but you'll keep the lines there if you see what i mean so you flip it over and there's your card You've actually made your base. Congratulations, it's very easy. Now, the easiest way to decorate this is in little panels. It looks really effective. Like I say, with the Art Deco one that I did, we didn't do that. So all you need are four that are four and seven eighths by one and a quarter wide. So what I do is I cut my paper down to four and seven eighths, and then I just cut off one and a quarter strips all the way along so I've, until I've got four. So you need four of those. Then you need two that are seven and three quarters by a quarter. So that's seven and three quarters by a quarter. I think I wrote it on one of these. Seven and three quarters by a quarter inch. And then two squares that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now, if you've got a pattern paper, just cut out a three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of tracing paper or anything like that and lay it over the pattern you want to cut, trace around it and then cut it out and you've got it exactly where you want it to be as a diamond shape because don't forget these are going to end up as diamonds. I'm aware this is plain paper. Now the only other thing you need to do is cut this in half and then in half again. So you've got two identicals, three and a quarter by three and a quarter 
and then you just need to cut one of them so put it into your channel if you trimmer or if you're using um a guillotine or scissors and just chop it in half this second one and then get that to be in the center so the point of your triangle has to be up there now butt this up to the top let it rest on there it's got to come along a little bit more and then cut those two in half and there's your two other pieces so the two squares make all the matting and layering just four strips and two little strips so it's not very much at all it's nowhere near an a4 piece of paper so you're only ever going to use one or two bits of paper in plenty if you want different patterns obviously so what we'll do is we'll open it up and we'll decorate the inside first so the three and a quarter by three and a quarter one of them just glue it i'm going to just glue really rough because as you know this is just to know how you're going to use all your pretty papers i'm not going to be giving this to anyone and you just pop that with this border and you can see these points are going to line up with those points and then it'll be in the right place so you can just shimmy it around so it's in the center like that then we're going to put in side some side panels <coughs> excuse me just going to pop these in that and then same on the other side so this is the inside of your card now obviously you can decorate the back with like your sentiments and things like that you can put another square on there you can make a bigger square measure that distance and make a bigger square um to put a triangle on the back so lots of things you can do you could obviously print on the card before you cut it so you've already got it on there there's two side panels now these two little ones that we cut we're going to put them in the back as well so they will turn around and you'll have one like that and then one on the other side <clears throat> so the one square has made the front um half triangle and these two little triangles that go in the back as well you could leave that blank you don't have to do it you don't have to have anything there you don't have to have any, anything anywhere i really should have put my teeth in a bit better. And then the same on this one. This one goes on the other side, like so. I didn't do that one very level, did I? <laughs> I can't. Oh, just leave it. You know what? You know. More time. Do it better. Let's pick this up. Let's get some pokey tool to get hold of that strip. And then the final one on the. Probably should have done funny side oh look how crooked that is it's winding me up that one goes down there and this one is the final one that fits in so i've done all the measurements for you you just got to put them in straight so that's the uh, and as, when you pull it over you can see now so you can use all sorts of papers don't forget this could be halloween thanksgiving christmas birthday father's day mother's day everything all the occasions so the front panel we've got that other half triangle that we cut the square so that one's obviously going to go in the front actually you should probably put in the, the side strips first but it's too late I've got one on it. so you can see this is making the card pop now so this one again lines up with those points there okay so the cut points so the cut points are really handy for lining up the two diamonds half diamonds triangles squares all of the above and then we've got our other two pillar mats to pop on one goes there and the other one on the other side and you'll see that on the art deco one that i designed i i didn't put anything on this section at all i use that fan so it's entirely up to you how you decorate your card i'm just showing you if you wanted to put the mats and layers in how to do it and then you've got your final strip across the bottom this is the untidiest demo i think i've ever done <laughs> congratulations to me <laughs> you get the gist Right, so there you go. So that's your base card. 
you've got your mats and layers on there you've got your mats and layers on the inside i'll show you again what i did so with this one there are no mats and layers only two side ones and i used a whole half inch border because i didn't want to chop it off because it had gold on it <clears throat> and then i've got my fan cut down on that one all i did was add gems to the inside triangle diamond <laughs> yeah all of the above and then on this one the peacock one like i said i've got the square i've got exactly what we just did basically on that one i made a bit of a wider border and made these a bit shorter because you can but the measurements i've given you make it work better then we've got our panels and like i say this has got a see-through element to it you can see my hand through there because i've let the dye be lacy on that bit and just colored inside of my um peacock in, peacock in black when it was on the card so yeah it stands up like that and like I say, you've got the, all this area on the back, so you could make more panels if you wanted on the sides. And like I, you can see that you could do another square there too. So decorate the back, make that your sentiments, put some stamps on there. And thanks for watching, guys. Like I say, I'll link all the other Art Deco things in the bottom. But thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.